Good evening, Internet. Hope that you are doing well. We are back with another night of strange and scary games. I'm working through Mike Klubnika's uh, Unsorted Horror. Uh, I've done two videos so far. And we are on to Concrete Tremor. Uh, what's this one about? Concrete Tremor is a short experimental puzzle horror game about plastic explosives in Soviet apartments, where the story is told from multiple perspectives. Original soundtrack by Jabu, the length of roughly 10 minutes, one and only ending. All right. Let's start. I like experimental games. I really liked um, The Space Between. Uh, they haven't been particularly uh, popular on the channel, but I always love playing a little bit of a, a strange one. Strange and scary is the motto, by the way. <laughs> what I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. We in though? I should check the roof. I do like the atmosphere in this one. Interesting. Do we get to see who picked the roof? Playing Battleship with Buildings? Can I see...
Alright, so we got the two piece. Uh, what's this one? B, C, D. Oh, he got us. Alright. Um. So there was one group of four that we got. Two groups of three, which we haven't gotten yet.
Oof. Got some. of the singles. Do we get both the singles? Uh, C8. And then... Not G. F8. Uh, C8. We've already got the four, but there could be a three in here. Oh no, we've got... Yeah, we're still missing a three. So let's do... Six... C... Six D... Six E. Oof, that sucks. Game over. Is there a way to win that? I'm assuming it's randomized, so... Shot roulette again. Concrete Tremor, a game by Mike Klubnika, music by Jabu. Alright, that one was short, so what do you guys say that we do the last one? Tartarus Engine. Tartarus Engine is a short horror game about a monumental computer designed for imitating eternal torment. You play as a technician in a group of people that set out to tap into a vulnerability machine. Original soundtrack by Jabu, 10 to 15 minute playthroughs, atmospheric environments. I like how the logo is a different, uh, a little bit different each game. Charterous engine. It's 
far beneath Hades as heaven is above the earth, construction began on the foundation of a great computer. Decades later, the first reality of eternal torment was imitated by the machine. The year is 2009 and the Tartarus engine was created. Time passed. To prevent workers from exploiting the machine for their personal gain, multiple protective measures were set in place. Four technicians devise a plan and execute it into the night. There is no such thing as absolute security. The, um, what's it called? The premise kind of reminds me of the Christmas episode of Black Mirror. The one with John Hamm. Bye. Have fun with your circuitry. Still no run. Twelve minutes. I keep running into this pro this problem with the games where it's like I uh, I don't know what you want from me. There we go. Eleven minutes.
10 minutes. Remember, you have to make it back by midnight. Do you guys ever watch uh, Mr. Robot? I was telling my girlfriend about the um, the BD Wong character. Was she the right White Rose? Something like that. The one who hacks time. Thirty seconds ago, you did not even know that the drive existed. What's happening? What is... What do you want from me? Eight minutes. I was prepping up to do the Wesker. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare. And then we didn't hit seven minutes. Midnight. We missed it. out. Oh, uh, where am I strapping myself into? It's not letting me interact with anything. I don't know if that was just like a precise, precise pixel or what. Oh, 
just for a moment. I'll blow you out as soon as I get my abilities. Alright, see you in a bit. I don't understand. They managed to translate the nature of consciousness into mathematics and recreate it in a digital interface, yet they use it for... This. What even is this? Torture. It's pulling us out. It's pulling us out layer by layer. What the hell did you do? How many layers deep are we? Tartarus Engine, an unsorted horror exclusive, created by Mike Klubnika. Original soundtrack by Jabu. So that one has the potential to be expanded into another game, kind of like a full game. Um, yeah, let's talk about these two games. So there's Concrete Tremor, which is the experimental one where you play Battleship with buildings. Um, I liked the uh, I like the atmosphere. Um, the part where you get up to the roof feels a little bit short, and I think that I was supposed to see something up there, but I didn't actually see anything. Uh, so it would be kind of cool if, um, if there was something up there to actually see, or if, um, like the camera grabbed you and forced you to look at something, or if the building collapsed under you as you were on the roof, or anything like that. Uh, there, there should have been something that happened on the roof. Uh, I liked the the actual battleship game. Uh, it was interesting that there's different pieces, uh, different building arrangements um, that you're going through. Is there an actual way to win that? Is there a way that you can beat battlefield with the buildings, um, battleship uh, with the buildings? And um, if so, does it still give you the same ending? Because it says that there's only one in, one ending, one and only ending. Um, so I, I'm assuming that the the battleship part is randomly generated. Um, is there a way to win it and like get something, or is it just that? 
Uh, Tartarus Engine, I think, has the potential to be expanded into a bigger game. Um, I like the clicking, t uh, uh, ticking clock element uh, with the, we've only got 11 minutes to do this, uh, and then you have to go through, input the thing. Um, it would have been nice if there was like a practice run first, like in the, the other games. Um, well, in the first game. Uh, what's the first game? The other side. Uh, the other side, you have the practice run where you go through it, and then you have the second run where it's real that time. Tartarus Engine would have been nice if there was like a practice run. Like, uh, undo the thing, put in the thing, uh, use the crowbar, uh, eject the one part, put in the other part. I said I had to just figure it out as I went. Um, the character should know what he's doing. I don't. I'm not the character. Uh, so that's one of those things where, like, there should have been a practice run, um, and then there should have been, like, tension-building elements on top of that, uh, where you're trying to put the drive in, but there's, like, one of the sentries from um, the Matrix floating above you or something like that. Uh, you have to work faster so you don't get spotted. You have to work faster to get through the firewall. Things like that could have been expanded. Uh, also, the ending where they get trapped in the the forever loop of it pulling us pulling them out layer by layer, that could be a really good experiment for like uh, short indie experiences, right? So use the Tartarus engine as like the the um, uh, what's it called uh, the frame um, the. God, there's a word for it, but I can't remember. Um, but you use that as like the outer layer, and then uh, you get sent into the Tartarus engine. Uh, and there's multiple layers. Let's say there's, there's um, uh, 10 layers. Each layer could be its own experience. So there's the peeling potato layer, of course, uh, but you could also do other things, like uh, if they're being followed by their greatest fears. Uh, you could even use this as the wraparound for Unsorted Horror. So you could have the Tartarus engine where the guy is trying to get, get in and do the Matrix thing. Uh, and then that opens up for um, the other side. The other side could be a layer. Or Control Room Alpha could be a layer. Or Carbon Steel could be a layer. Uh, and you could go through and have those kind of torture um, horror short stories within the Tartarus engine. So that's something to consider, like when you're making your future games, having something like the Tartarus engine being the wraparound story, um, and then having the other games, the small experiences inside of that as like their different layers of uh, this torture device. Uh, so that, that was kind of what I was thinking. Um, as it is, it feels too short. Uh, cause it, it feels like it's going to be like this 15 minute experience where like, uh, you're trying to carry out this crime, um, and get into the matrix and set yourself up to build this, this paradise within the torture machine, uh, which is a really cool concept. Uh, but then everything just kind of happens at the end. Not really. Tension breaks or anything. Uh, so just... Building it out for pacing, uh, building it out so that there's like more meat, uh, that would just be my recommendation, is just expanding on it. Because I think that the Tartarus engine itself is a solid concept, I just felt like it was, uh, wasn't developed. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me for another night. Strange and Scary Games. I love you, and I will see you in the next video.